Hello everyone, uh, my name is Archie Dodge here with Imaginate Technologies. Um, so today I want to talk about uh, handling CUI and CUIX files uh, efficiently. And uh, the reason why is because I've, I've run into a lot of people recently where they, they're interested in um, customizing their UI. Uh, they have the knowledge on how to create the buttons and how to create panels and ribbons and uh, toolbars and other things like that. Uh, but what, what happens is uh, they make changes to the main file and sometimes ribbons end up disappearing. So um, this video is not intended to show the, the details of creating uh, custom macro buttons, uh, but rather how to handle the CUI files themselves. Okay, so um, to get started, I'm going to go ahead and make a, a custom profile for what we're doing. So anytime I make any changes to my uh, Civil 3D or AutoCAD environment, I, I my intention is to save the, the default vanilla settings as is so that we don't modify or destroy those. That way if we have to come back and uh, switch profiles to the default, everything is right where it needs to be. Uh, so what I have right now is a a default install of Civil 3D. I've, I've cleared a profile. So this is uh, as if you just installed it. I did make a couple changes where I put the command line as a docked um, uh, location. That way whenever I make any changes you'll be able to see this uh, on the command line here. Okay so to make a, a custom profile we're going to come into the options either by typing OP on the command line or right clicking and coming to options. Uh, you could also get to it from the uh, application menu here uh, right down here at the bottom for options. So when we click this this brings up our options dialog box. Uh, what we're interested in is profiles. Uh, you can see right now we're set to the Civil 3D Imperial um, profile so we're going to go ahead and create a new one so that we can modify our uh, environment without destroying their, the default. So um, I'm going to go ahead and choose a starting point for my profile. In this case, I'm going to use the Civil 3D Imperial and go ahead and add to list. So whenever I add to list, it's going to go ahead and take Imperial and um, essentially give it a new name. So I'm going to call this one uh, CUI um, Training, uh, maybe underscore training. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this name as well. Uh, because we're going to use this later in, um, in our shortcuts that launch our application. So copying that name, apply and close. Uh, that added uh, our profile to the available profile list. And I'm going to go ahead and set current. Uh, once you set current, you can see that our current profile is COI underscore training. Okay, now that we have a profile to use for this, I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to go ahead and close out AutoCAD. So... Um, any profile or option settings that you do, these settings are actually pushed to your profile and um, it only does that after you close AutoCAD. So once you make any major changes to your options and to your profile, uh, it's a good practice to go ahead and save that. Otherwise, if you crash in the middle of, um, if, you, if you make a change and then crash before closing out, all of those changes that you've made uh, will be ignored next time you start um, AutoCAD or Civil 3D. Okay, so I'm just I'm, I'm starting this up uh, using the, the default uh, Civil 3D Imperial shortcut found in, in the start menu. Let me bring over my start menu here. So you can see uh, I actually started this using the uh, Civil 3D Imperial. Okay, So using these shortcuts right here will actually start a specific profile. And if I open up my options again, you'll see that it did start with this uh, Civil 3D Imperial rather than the CUI training profile that we need. So we're going to go ahead and make a change to that so that we can actually start our Civil 3D or AutoCAD um, environment using this profile here. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close out options and I'm going to close out AutoCAD and we're going to show how to create a new shortcut that will actually open up that, that profile. Okay, so I'm, uh, this is Windows 10, so this might be a little bit different than um, your workstation, but the concept is 
pretty much the same. So basically in the start window, I'm looking for that shortcut that we use to start Imperial. I'm going to right click on it and come up to more and open file location. This will bring us directly to our shortcuts within uh, Windows Explorer. And so I'm just going to go ahead and copy this Imperial shortcut right into the same spot so that we have a copy. Okay, so I'm going to rename this one here and I'm going to go ahead and use the name that we did. Uh, for some reason it lost what we are doing, but I remember it as CUI underscore training. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Uh, make sure you apply that. Okay, so now that we have that named, I'm going to right click on this and come to properties. And this target right here, what we're looking for is something called a P switch. So I'm going to slide over here until I find it, and here we are. So this, uh, this is what a P switch is. It's just a forward slash P. And what this means is that uh, immediately after this, it's looking for a profile. Now the profile name is actually within the uh, quotation marks. And in this case, the civil underscore imperial actually has uh, brackets on there. So we are actually going to rename that, including the brackets. Uh, so I'm just going to overwrite that to CUI training. I'm going to hit OK, uh, allow this. All right. So now that we've changed those two things, we can actually double click on this and it should start uh, Civil 3D in that profile. Okay, so this is, gonna, this is the, the, the method that we're going to be launching this profile from now on. That way our original Civil 3D underscore Imperial profile will not be modified. Okay, and once this is up, we can verify which profile we're in by coming into our options. And in the options, you can see that it did, in fact, launch using our CUI uh, profile. Now that that is done, we can go ahead and start modifying um, our CUI. And to do that, we're going to go ahead and type in the CUI command. Once you do that, it's going to open up this uh, custom, uh, customized user interface uh, dialog box. And how this is set up, over here on the left, this is a a list of all the available customization files. You have a drop down here to switch between them. So if you do all customiza customization files, you'll see the main one. In this case, we're working in Civil 3D. So that's what we're seeing here. And then any extra partials that we have are loaded here. You can see we have an un unresolved, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Okay, so this is actually how we're going to uh, handle our custom CUI file. We're going to leave the main Civil 3D file as is, and any additional uh, CUI elements, we're actually going to load these as a partial CUI file, rather than modifying the main Civil file. Okay, so we're going to be dealing with a partial customization file, so we need to create one. And to create one, we're going to come right up here to the Transfer tab, and on the left here, this is the main customization file that is loaded. Uh, we could also load new ones. So if you have a CUI file somewhere, you can actually open that. Uh, but on the right here, this is the one that we're actually going to create. So you can see it's saying new file. We could also open files as well. And basically what this is for is for you to uh, take elements from one CUI file and bring it over into our CUI file. Uh, for the time being, I'm actually not going to transfer anything over to it. I'm actually just going to save this one as, just by clicking on that um, uh, save icon. And I'm going to come to my desktop because I have a personal support folder that also has a CUI IX folder. And then this one here we're going to call uh, CUI underscore training. Uh, for the for this uh, demonstration. So once I name that, I'm going to hit OK or save, and you can see it is now here. Uh, once we have that saved, we can come back over here to the Customize um, tab, and then right under the uh, Partial Customization Files, uh, make sure you are set to All Customization Files. Uh, once you're set to All Customization Files, you'll be able to right-click on the uh, Partial Customization Files header and load Partial customization files. Okay, so this is the one that we just saved, so that's the one I'm going to load. 
So once I select that, I'm going to click open. Now immediately, whenever I open this, you can see this switched from um, all customization down to this um, uh, partial CUI that we're creating. Now, now that we're set to this, um, everything down below here, these are all available commands that are associated with this CUI. Now, we currently don't have any, so we could actually create new commands by clicking here. Or if we wanted to, we could actually come up to the all customization files and then pick um, uh, commands from down here. Uh, notice we have this drop down for all commands only, or we can pick and choose between all of the different um, um, partial CUIs, including our uh, CUI training. Uh, what this will allow us to do is actually open up our CUI training. We can uh, create panels. Once we create a new panel, we'll call this one training. Uh, we can uh, add rows to this. And then from the rows, we can actually add commands. Uh, where the source is will tell you, uh, this column right here will tell you where the source is. So if you take a, uh, let's not do P line, let's do a polyline. So if you take a polyline that is found in AutoCAD or the Civil 3D partial CUI uh, and drag that up to one row up here, you will now see that uh, we have, if we switch this from all customization down to our Civil 3D or, uh, CUI training, you can see now, now this CUI training CUI now has that uh, command associated to it as well. So this is one way that you can pull commands from another um, CUI file to make it how you need to. So I'm going to go ahead and create a, a ribbon for this, a tab, new tab, and we'll call this one training. And then uh, from that pan or that tab there, we're going to go ahead and add the training panel to that tab. Okay, so right now we're very, very limited. As you can see, it's one tab, one panel with one um, command on it. As I said, I want this just as a video just to show how to handle these CUI files, not to go in depth on creating them. Uh, I just wanted to show at least one tab, one panel, so that when we come back to our all customization files, we can show how to actually add this to a workspace. Okay, so currently we have a, a workspace here as Civil 3D default. Uh, like I said, I like to uh, create my own so that uh, I'm not destroying what is default. So I'm actually going to uh, select the Civil 3D default. I'm actually going to duplicate this, and it'll give us a copy of Civil 3D. And I'm going to go ahead and rename this to CUI underscore training. And I'm also going to right click this and set this as current and I'm going to set it as default. Uh, once I do that, I can highlight it select, uh, by selecting it here. And then once I have that highlighted over here on the top right, I can actually customize this workspace. And once I do, I can come through here and pick and choose from all available partial customization files as well as the default uh, main customization file, in this case, the Civil 3D. Uh, so if we want to include that ribbon that we created right here, uh, we can just go ahead and select it here, make sure it's checked, and then we'll see that it is has been added to our workspace on this side here. So once we uh, pick and choose which ones we want, including from AutoCAD and all available uh, CUI files. Uh, we can hit done here. And then once that is done, we can go ahead and hit OK. Once that's OK, we should see our training uh, tab pop up with that one panel called training and the polyline command. Okay, so you can see. Um, what we did here in the CUI file, we made no changes to the actual main file. So if I come in here to main file, you can see that there's, there has been no changes other than creating a new workspace. And then 
uh, any customization files that we have, we actually added those as a partial. And then once we've created that partial, we created a new workspace and customized that workspace to include um, any elements from our custom CUI file. So I hope this uh, shows a method that you're able to use to uh, maintain your personal CUI files rather than uh, modifying the main custom file. Uh, doing so should help uh, handle CUI files without actually modifying, which could potentially harm the main customization files that come with Civil 3D or any AutoCAD or vertical. Now, if you ever do make a mistake and make customizations to the main file and you have some issues where ribbons don't display or other things like that, uh, you may want to right click right on the main file and then uh, click on restore whatever your main file is. That will actually bring it everything to the CUI file back to default. So if you ever did make a change uh, that wasn't um, wanted or came out in a, a in a state that was undesired um, yeah go ahead and try this before creating a whole or uh, doing a whole profile reset uh, I you should have some um, some um, success doing that and um, if you right click on these down here you can see that you can also reload these here as well or restore them as well so if anything ever goes bad you can always restore these and then uh, go back to creating your own partial customization files that is uh, segmented from the rest of them. And again, once you make those changes, uh, make sure that you do close out AutoCAD. That way it pushes all of these changes to the registry so that uh, if you crash after making these changes, when you restart your AutoCAD environment, all of this will be uh, saved to your registry so that you don't lose your settings that you've done. All right, so have a good day.